According to the Gen4 installation guide, we can enable Python bindings for Gen4 as part of the main Gen4 build process, which would allow us to import Gen4 modules in an interactive Python session. What's not mentioned in the installation guide is that Gen4 Python only supports build on Linux and Mac OS. It doesn't work on Windows. According to the GM4 forum, this is still the case today. GM4 is written in C++. To allow GM4 libraries to be loaded in Python, we need Boost Python, a C++ library which enables interoperability between C++ and Python. Boost Python is part of Boost, a collection of many C++ libraries that extend the standard C++ library. I'd like to emphasize that we need to have both the library and header files of Boost Python in our Linux to compile Gen4, and that Boost Python depends on Python. Both Boost Python and Gen4 need to be compiled against the same version of Python to have the whole thing to work together. I personally use Endeavor OS, a Linux distribution based on Arc Linux, where I need to install three software packages, Python, Boost Lips, and Boost. Boost Lips contains runtime libraries and boost contains header files for compilation. If you use Ubuntu or other Debian based Linux distributions such as Mint, please run sudo apt-get install libboostpython-dev, which will automatically install Python, Boost Python headers and the libraries in your system. If you use Fedora or other Red Hat based Linux distributions such as CentOS, you need to run sudo yum install boost python3 develop. Don't forget about number 3 here to specify the right python version, which is not necessary in case of Ubuntu. After that, you can start compile Gen4 source code in a normal way. Go to your Gen4 source code folder, create a directory named build, cd into it, and type ccmake dot dot and return. If you don't have ccmake command, you can use the commands listed here to install it for your particular Linux distribution. In ccmake, press C to configure, press E to quit the log screen. According to the GM4 installation guide, we need to turn on the GM4 use Python option to enable the compilation of Python bindings in GM4. We also need to set the GM4 build TLS mode to global dynamic if we enable the multi-threaded mode in GM4. Note that you cannot see this variable unless you use T to enable the advanced mode. Press C to configure again. If everything goes as expected, your CMake should be able to find the Boost Python library. Press C one more time until you see the Generate option. Press G to generate make files. If everything goes as expected, CC Make will quit automatically. Now you can run the make command to compile GM4 with Python bindings. My CPU has eight cores. I use four of them for the compilation. Don't use all of the cores for this single job. Save some for other processes running on your computer. 
now run make install to copy the compiler libraries to the desired location. If you want to install them to a system directory, such as user local, please don't forget to put sudo in front of make install. Otherwise, your installation will fail. As you don't have enough privilege to write to system directories as a normal user. Now, source user local bin gm4.sh file to tell your system where gm4 is installed. After that, you should be able to run gm4 config dash dash help to check features enabled in your gm4 installation. Unfortunately, Python is not listed here. I guess it will be added to this list in the future. But don't worry, there is another way to verify your installation of your Python bindings. According to the GM4 installation menu, by default, the package is installed in the Python 3 site packages directory. Indeed, I can find a folder called GM4 in my GM4 library directory and the Python 3 site packages subdirectory. However, when I try to import GM4 modules in a Python interactive session, I got an error message. This is because this folder is not a standard Python library location. We need to use an environment variable called Python path to tell, GM4, to, to tell Python where the GM4 Python binding is located. In zshell or bash, this is done using this command. After that, try to import GM4 in Python again. You should be able to see the familiar GM4 banner messages showing up. According to the GM4 application menu, many GM4 objects are available in Python automatically. They start with G, which indicates that they are global variables. After you import GM4 module in your Python session, type G and press the tab key twice to print a list of variables that start with G. And then type G start UI session and return to launch a GM4 TCSH terminal where you can type in GM4 commands and the macros. To learn more about the usage of GM4 Python, please visit its author's GitHub page where you can find quite some tips on how to perform some typical GM4 tasks in Python. According to the author, in future GM4 releases, the C++ and the Python bridge will be realized using PyBind11 instead of Boost Python. I will make a new video after that. The author also gave some talks about G4 Python, where you can find more detailed example Python code to perform GM4 simulation. I also write a very short Python script in my GM4 application, Mingo. Run it this way, and you will be in a GM4 shell in no time.